let's get right into it. Today we have 15 packs of Nintendo Game Pack. These are from Tops, produced in 1989. Uh, I vaguely remember these from being a kid, but I didn't collect them. So I'm not really sure what we might find. Oh, some kind of scratch off thing. All right, so we might have more fun in this video than I had initially anticipated. We'll have to figure out what that all means in a sec. You know what? Hold on. Let's clean up our stack. Oh, also, it does note that, uh, oh, maybe not all of them say that. Some of the packs said that this is just for fun. There's no prizes awarded. Okay, there it is. So it's only on some of them. This product is for fun, which it's already a lot of fun. No prizes awarded, but that's not on any of the other packs. So that's strange. I wonder if that means we can win something here. Oh no, alright, so it's actually a, a game. There's going to be 60 of these. Spoiler alert, we don't have all 60 of those. What do we got here? Double Dragon card. Also part of that set. That is fun. Now I'm tempted to continue to buy these. Oh, they're all... Oh, three scratch-off cards, two stickers. So when I bought these, I don't think these are uh, at all what I was expecting. I messed up. But that's pretty dope. That's a, a Zelda sticker. Well, why would they have a tip for Double Dragon on the Zelda card? I don't know. That's pretty neat. Let's see. Chintai. In every world within invisible blocks, one extra life is concealed, possibly more. Keep your eyes peeled. Huh. Did not know that that was in every level. So now it's getting kind of fun. Whenever things are different from what we expect. The Adventure of Link. Also, oh, you know what? We might end up with these 60. So far we have four. Five. Six. Lopar and, oh, Zelda. That might even be gradable. Indeed it is. Let's get some penny sleeves. All right, I'm back with the penny sleeve. That's going to be fun. Nice, and that goes directly into the PSA pile. My PSA pile, let me know, is yours like this? Do you have this issue? Or I guess it's not really an issue. I stack up all the cards that I know are, are ready to go, but then I stack them all up over there, and as time goes by, as I have, I typically have two batches out on rotation and usually in that time markets will shift and I'll say okay well these five guys don't need to be graded all of a sudden unfortunately I did not have that kind of luck when it came to that's dope too so to Popinski when it came to um <clears throat> Bryce Young and Caleb Williams so I do have a bunch of them coming not a bunch I think it's probably five or six total between the two just got that notification last night. So that kind of sucks. Well, for them anyway. Some more scratch off. Super Mario 2. Doki Doki Panic. Another double dragon. Wait, was that the other was the other one? One or two. Well, not the same double dragon. So that's cool. And I hope it's not 60 per game. I don't think it is. I believe it's 60 total. Like the game is made up of 60. Which is weird, though. If you just scratch it off, then you're donezo. So that is kind of odd. Does anybody have the original old-school Nintendo trading cards, like before video games? I think I've seen maybe a couple, just a small few in person. So now we're really just looking for the stickers. Mario Madness. Win with Link. Got a couple of those. I like how nicely these open. And that there's no gum. Another win with Link. Top secret tip. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. When you defeat a bot or a bit, his red cousin, you win two points. Touch the item they leave with your sword and pick them up. That, that's not really a tip. I believe that information is explained in the owner's manual. Another soda pop. He gets to stay up there this time. Glass Joe. That's pretty dope. I'll have to see. If we don't get all, all of the, the game cards, then I might just go through and figure out which ones of those I want to uh, put in a collection. We got one and two there. 
Sorry, I was enjoying that without considering the audience, as I often do. If this is uh, not your first video, I'd be surprised. But if you have seen a few, you'll notice sometimes I just get trailing off and talking to myself, forget you guys are there. That's pretty cool. The OG. Let's see what our super tip is. Punch out. King Hippo has a real weak stomach. Punch repeatedly at his face and he will try to guard it. Then land many blows to his big belly. Let's leave that one up. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these sleeves. These are, uh, they just came in the mail today. These are ultra pro. Usually I just grab whatever's around. And sometimes that doesn't fare well for me. Oh, while we're all watching card stuff, I guarantee one of you knows this answer. How do I find the nice sleeves that have the corners already cut off? I've tried to do it myself. I've taken like 10 at a time and tried to cut them. Don't do that. They're going to go flying. So that happened. And I can't figure out what wording to use to get those to pop up anywhere. Another one. I don't remember this car being in Super Mario Brothers. Must have been after the warp zone. Oh, Doki Doki Panic. The way to defeat Birdo is to first jump on the eggs he shoots at you. And second, pick them up and hurl them back at him. Uh, again, if you can't figure, couldn't figure that out at the time, probably not really much of a video game player anyway. Don Flamenco. I like these Tyson ones. They're pretty dope. I hope we get more. If we see the Mike Tyson scratch off, if there is one, and I would hope that there is, that's getting graded. We're not scratching that off. We'll go over. Oh, speaking of, that's not it, obviously, but. King Hippo, who we just talked about in that last pro tip. I love video games. That's pretty dope. Wish they had more of those. Zelda again. Super Mario 2. Link. This is a nice, nice card. That's the fun thing about ripping junk. I see it on Twitter all day long. People complaining about the price of stuff, and I get it. Like, I'm not buying Chrome Black. Screw that. But I still have a lot of fun opening cards. I guess maybe if you're not old enough, then there is no nostalgia that's cheap enough for you right now. But for those of us who have been through a couple decades on the planet, we uh we have some things available to us that we can still have fun with for cheap. Super Mario 2, Double D. So I think that's a big benefit. I just right actually before I opened or turned on the camera. Ripped a pack of uh, 90 Donruss just for the hell of it. Nothing really cool in it. That's cool. Another splat. But yeah, I mean, it's just fun ripping old wax. I ripped a bunch of 90s hockey the other day. I'm going to do some more coming up. Next time I go to my hobby shop, that guy, he's got a bunch of, of old wax he likes to sell. He picks it up cheap and just enjoys people reacting to seeing it. So hopefully he still has some skybox because I, I did very well. Unfortunately, only bought two packs last time I was there instead of a thousand. Nice. The other one was a little more faded. Oh, another Super Mario 2. And what do we have here? Underworld or Underwater World. Glass Joe. All right, so we're getting close to Tyson. Another Zelda. Another I Love Video Games. That's good, so I can keep one and maybe give one as a gift. Zelda Double Dragon and Super Mario 2. Stack's getting low. We got four more chances to find Mike. Or learn that there is not a Mike Tyson card. I, I can't fathom that being a possibility anywhere. Billy Lee doubles. That's pretty cool. Uh, this card, you actually get three stickers instead of just the one. Neat cartoons. I, I gotta say that. The, the artwork... And I feel like that's something we're losing. Sorry, I just bumped the camera twice. I'm not sure what jokes you missed out on. I saw the, the arm. It didn't register at first. Low par. Zelda. We got Double Dragon, Super Mario. Stage 1, 2. And The Adventure of Link. You'll gain more points the higher you jump on the flagpole. No kidding. No kidding. Zelda, Double Dragon, Super Mario 2. I'm starting to see a pattern there. Billy Lee. Oh. All right, last pack. 
what you know what's going to happen is it's going to be a mike tyson pack and that card is going to be stained or something <laughs> something whack is going to happen oh oh king hippo Bastard. zelda again and another three sticker thing all right so let's quickly figure out if we got all 60 i don't think we do although to the credit of tops and nintendo not a lot of doubles we got one two all right, so no, 45, and now I suppose I could have just figured that out on my own since you get three scratch off in each thing and we had 15, so 45 checks out. Shout out to Mr. Dreyer, fourth grade elementary school teacher who taught me math. Those times tables. By the way, eight by seven, if you grew up in my section of New York, you would know that that's Lawrence Taylor's number. Let's see, we got the one Zelda. Thought I just destroyed it. Wait, we already know. Why are we still... I don't know why we're still going through these. I bet that jump cut wasn't confusing at all. Yeah, Glass Joe. Don Flamenco. Glass Joe again. Great Tiger. And King Hippo. So yeah, we're, we're anemic on a lot of these. You know what I'm about to do, though, is go buy some more. This was fun. It would have been cool, too, if they had put the dude with the camera in the audience. Hands were too far away. Yeah, had they put the, the camera guy in the audience, that would have been neat. It's also unclear how many screens there are going to be for each one. All right, let's quickly try to make some sense of this. So that goes up to screen 10. All right, so my theory might be right. It might be that there's 10. Yeah, in fact, there is. So we got Tyson's Punch-Out, Double Dragon, Super Mario 1, Super Mario 2, Zelda, and Link. So there's six. Each is going to have 10. So that's dope to know. Now the chase is on. Let's see how many we have. All right, so I didn't do as well with Link. Only have four with a bunch of doubles. However, through it all, what I will say, it's a fun rip. And for 15 packs to only have... All right, so yeah, not great. 14 out of 45. Still a pretty good mix. You know, I didn't get jammed up with 30 of the same card. Whoops. At any rate, the wheels have fallen off of this episode long ago. If you are still watching, I appreciate that. If you've already stopped, I appreciate you haven't stopped by it already. Maybe you came back to finish it. Whether you are here or not, I do appreciate you all the same. And I admire your love of video games. In general, what was your favorite retro console back in the day? I would go NES just because of the nostalgia. I mean, I had an Atari 2600, but it wasn't given to me. It was just like the family machine. It was there before I was born, which was dope because my grandparents had one. My parents had one. My aunt and uncle had one. It was just like a normal thing. They're not video game players. Then I was given the NES I have. I don't know if you could hear that. When I, and, uh, that was in 1988. And then a Jaguar and a Jaguar CD. I would put those as my favorites. Those are the ones that I owned and loved. Buddy had a Saturn. That was dope. Lived in Japan for a while. We had found a Dreamcast. So that was also amazing. And I would say everything after that's not really retro. It might be old, but it's not retro. I do love the 360. That's where I stopped gaming. I don't need anything beyond that. Keep my money to do something else with. So... Cards and philosophy and a little bit of math today. Good luck if you ever come upon uh, 8 times 7. Just remember Lawrence Taylor, the mathematician. That's going to do it. I plan on stopping this like literally 15 minutes ago and just could not think of any way to wrap it up. So guess what? Here comes the end card.